Karens are known for their public freakouts, and boy, do they deliver. They can be seen going off on anyone, from store clerks to restaurant staff, and even complete strangers. From screaming at the top of their lungs to pointing their fingers aggressively, these Karens know just how to make an entrance. So the next time you encounter a Karen in public, think twice before you startle her. She might just have something up her sleeve. Whether he was joking or not, this male Karen is wrong. Hey, buddy, you're going to give me all that money right now. There's a gun in my waistband. You're going to give me all that money right now. I'm just, I, hey, buddy, come in. I'm just playing, I'm just playing, I'm just playing, I'm just playing. <laughs> no, it's a joke, it's a prank, it's a prank, it's a prank, it's a prank. In this next clip, we have a Karen playing DJ. Now, Karen is not a real DJ. So when the real DJs tell Karen, hey, please don't touch our equipment, Karen gets offended and starts belittling them, telling them, how much better she is than them until the very end. Wow. Like, get over your brother. Wow. How much I'm care. Your entitled to touch anything you want. Anything you want. Who cares? Get this girl out of here. Get the out. In this next clip, the person taking the video is the Karen. He said something inappropriate to these employees, and the man who's standing at the counter is confronting him. So you'll hear the man repeat what this Karen said, and then he goes on to confront Karen. Go back to China. It's not China. We're not China. Look, look, your army outfit doesn't mean nothing. You want to do hand to hand combat outside? Let me know anytime you want. Anytime you want. Turn the camera off. Let's go outside. Anytime you want. Turn the camera off. Let's go outside. Come on. Turn the camera off. Let's go outside. You want to do hand to hand? Yeah. Hand to hand combat. Come on. Hand to hand combat. Come on. Let's go. You sure? Yeah, I'm sure. You ain't gonna do it. Nah. Come on. Let's go outside. You're all talk. Come on. You're all talk. Let's go outside. Come on. You're all talk. Put the camera down. You're all talk. Put the camera down. You're gonna call the cops. They hit you. No. No. Go ahead. You're gonna call the cops. Go ahead and hit me. You said you want to do hand to hand. combat. You're combat. gonna call the cops. I'm right here. Come on. Call the cops. Come on. Call the cops. Call the cops. Come on. Call the cops. Look. Asians do a lot for this country, all right? Uh, Don't call her a communist don't about tell me being what in to China. Do. Okay? Don't ever tell me what to do. Okay? Don't, don't ever tell, tell me, me right what now. to do in my country. Okay? Don't ever tell me what to do in my country. Why are you backing up? You scared? Step back. You scared? I'm not, I'm, I'm, it's a free okay. country, right? Yeah. You don't want to do anything That's in your right. country. Okay, cool. That's right. Look, I knew you were scared. It's cool. I'm scared of you? You're just a little guy. You're just a little guy. In this clip, we have a male Karen who's threatening to stalk his neighbor and take them hostage. Why? Because he's accusing them of teasing his dog. Seriously. He's accusing them of teasing his dog. So he goes into this rant that you're going to see right now. us your stupid tenant over there you are a buddy you're a I've already talked to you people to try to get along what's your problem 
Why do you sneak around and tease our dog when we're trying to get along with you? You're, you're a chicken, man. You just got your camera up. We, t we talked to you a long time ago. I thought we had an understanding. Why are you teasing our dog and trying to upset us? Why are you doing that? This part is a little bit difficult to hear because of the distance, but now the police have arrived, and this guy's saying that he didn't threaten his neighbors, but we know he did. Why you guys? Why you guys? That's what I did. Here we have a Karen who decided to take things up a notch. She's in the backyard, screaming and throwing rocks at cars as they pass by. fast food places that brings out the Karen in these Karens. In this one, we have a male Karen versus a female Karen, and the funny thing is they're saying, get out of my way. No, you get out of my way. Well, there's so much space. Why don't they just walk past each other? No, I Get the f off me, dodge your gun! What the f is the matter with you? 
That's what I'm saying. Yeah, I'm I'm right. so delivery from UPS, UPS will say, hey, you can pick it up at our location. The only problem with this particular clip is that this Karen went to the UPS store, which isn't the right location, and the person working there doesn't tell her this isn't the right location. So this happens. Store now. Get the office. Call them. I've done nothing to them. Call them. Call them. I've done nothing to you. I've asked you to leave my store. This is my store. You're going to give me my... I don't pocket. have it. Why? It's not my problem. Call the cops. Tell them I need them here. Because I'm not dealing with this. Out. I'm refusing your package. I will be right when the cops get here. Good for you. You're not the first one that's gave me out of teach. You won't be the last. I'm not a dude. You. Keep calling me dude. Ma'am, I didn't do it. I'm using your package, so get out of my store. Where am I going to be able to pick it up then? 1751 Hall Avenue, because that's where it's going back to. The I you want to bet? Here you want to bet? Because it says you're your not the first. You're not the first person. 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 You're not the You're not the first person. You're not the You're not the first person. 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 In this next clip, you can tell that this male Karen has done his homework and knows that he can record police activity as long as he stays a certain distance back. The problem is he doesn't follow the rules. No. You need anything? Nope, you're dismissed. Dismissed? Yep. Actually, that's not how it works, but... Am I committing a crime? No, but I'd like to know if you need I'd like to not answer your questions. You're dismissed. Why are you saying that? Because I'm allowed to film in public. You are allowed to film in public. Cool. You're dismissed. I'm just sure that you need anything. I don't need anything for you. Okay. Well, just do us a favor. Don't interfere with our investigation. I'm not interfering. You don't need to tell me that. Excuse me. Excuse me. I'm not doing anything wrong, man. You can't just walk up on a police I can absolutely... I know the law better than you, don't no, you I? Don't Interesting. Like you. We've got a prisoner in the back of the I'm door. ten feet away. You just walk up on I'm prison. ten... You were close what to law am I breaking? I don't know you. Tell me what law I'm breaking, officer. Are you coming to let this dude out of the car? Can you tell me what law I'm breaking? Are you coming to let this dude out of the car? I don't have to answer your questions. Surely look like I don't have to answer you your questions. Right up to that car. This is textbook, dude. I don't have to answer your questions. You're just educating my, my, my friends here. That's all. You can educate all you want. But what you can't do is you can't interfere with our investigation. Okay. This is what I'm going to tell you. If you liked the video, I would like you against the wall. Because I'm gonna let you know right now. Here's good. To right here. Here's fine. And this is where my prisoner is. You want to see him? Here, here here's he is. Fine. There's a prisoner back. Are you okay? So it sure looked like you were coming to let him out of the car. You're getting a complaint on you, dude. You need you to step back. You go right ahead. I haven't violated I've been, any of your rights. I haven't violated any Not of your laws. Won. But you sure are oh, man. really taking me away from my You sound like feelings enforcement right now. You're law feelings enforcement, dude. Enforcement? Yeah, yeah. You're walking up yeah. to the cruiser to maybe let. What law did I break? Up? What law did I break? Dude. I'm just telling you right now, don't do that again or you will be the What law did I break? I'm telling you. I bet you didn't know this, but there's at least one Target store in the U.S. who has a morality police officer, and you're going to meet her. Her name's Karen, and she's in this clip. She's criticizing this mom for letting her daughter try on a pair of pants or shorts or whatever it is over her leggings because she says that she wasn't properly clothed. 
She walked into the store with the leggings, Karen. She did not change her clothes. She was, she she was horrified. She was absolutely the look on her horrified. face when she looked at me. Don't Ida, tell me I how my horrified. daughter was. My daughter was completely fine. She said, can I just change if right here? you think that I having your yes, child you get, get down to changing clothes in public is okay for your child? I happen she to think it is She was in horrible. leggings. Do you know it what leggings are? Horrible. Do you know what leggings are? All right, ma'am. You were here. You stupid? Do you know what leggings are? Are you stupid? Then why do you ask me that? Stupid. You are acting You're stupid. You're talking to your employees like my daughter was back there she naked. Was. No, she, she was. She was naked, not. But she, she was get in leggings down to changing and clothes. She was in leggings not and a sweater. Not appropriate. She tried on a pair of not pants over her pants. Not appropriate. That is appropriate. Not appropriate. How is that not appropriate? Have you seen the people that shop in this store? The skeezy men that shop I in this store? I don't care. The women she was in you leggings don't care and a sweater. That you're exposing leggings your child to skeezy people? I wasn't exposing my child to anything. People? Yeah. Don't talk to me about my parenting. Yeah. I was not exposing my child. That was, yeah. That was not it a good call. It absolutely is not. not I am an incredible call. parent. I don't even not care. Your call. opinion means nothing. Not a good I'm call. just telling you, if my she was not back nothing, there because you you're talking to all your me. employees about it. I, I do, watched you. I do teach so, them how to handle She was situations. not naked. She was in yeah. leggings. Shut the fuck up. up here. I don't need you yelling I will be calling corporate. I don't need you yelling I will be calling corporate. And I will let them know that you had your daughter changing her clothes on the floor. In this next clip, Two African-American women are shopping at Sephora and notice they're being watched. So they confront the employee and something positive happens. The employee acknowledges that, yes, maybe subconsciously she was watching them, but she says she's going to make a conscious effort not to do it again and to be better. And that's all that we need. I don't know the you keep yeah you keep on drifting her Here we have a Karen at a Canada Post and she's taking her sweet time. So when the worker lets her know, hey, Karen, speed it up, she takes offense to that and starts criticizing his customer service. When she turns around, a customer confronts her and says, why don't you go somewhere else? But here's what I want you to focus on. Doesn't she look like the fitness guru, Jillian Michaels? I just wanted to send that letter mail or can you track me for it? I'm giving you my business thing so it'll go okay, expedited. Well, I'm asking if you want a letter or if you want to send Expedited. Regular insurance? Regular insurance? No, I need an extra two hundred dollars. Okay. Well, I'm going to do it with you. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Go somewhere else. What? You go somewhere else if the service is bad. This is across the street from my house, so I'll but go if here it's bad, if I go please. Go somewhere else. It's not your f business. Be so rude. Okay. 
1466. Now this next clip takes place at a Dollar Tree store. And typically, controversies at Dollar Tree stores are between an employee and a customer who's complaining about a refund of less than $10. But in this particular clip, it's one employee confronting her Karen co-worker who's making her look bad in front of customers, and it was caught on camera. In this next clip, a group of Karens who work at a Chipotle in St. Paul, Minnesota are telling a group of black kids that they need to pay them up front before they'll make their order. How do you steal Chipotle? Why would they need to pay up front? So what we gotta do? What we gotta do? Hey, because you never have money when you come in We here, never no, have we money. money. Yeah. We never got money. Yeah. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. We got no money. Bro, look, can we just get our I food? I just run out for my food. Oh, yeah. Well, can we just get our food, folks? I just run out for my food. Bro, apparently we ain't got no money. <laughs> we ain't got no bro. money. Bro, you know me. I pay here every freaking day. I pay for Let's not even worry about that. Can we get our food? I didn't even see her before. I well, I've never seen. That's some crazy stuff. Somebody get your veins. Well, I'm getting my food, bro. What? I'm doing this making me. She's doing this making crazy accusations. Bro, what is this? She's doing this making accusations. You're talking about. Can I say something? Yeah. Y'all basically stereotyping us. Yeah. Yeah. We don't say it. For what reason? For what reason? I come here every day. No, we can wait until they close. I'm about to be out for the year. I'm about to be out for the year. This shit wild, bro. This shit wild. Can I get a burrito, bro? I don't like the stereotyping. I don't like it. Yo, hold on, can we get our food though? So we gonna get served or not? Nah? Yo, we at the Grand Chipotle in St. Paul, MN, bro. What's up? Can we get served? Yo, put this on Twitter. Hey, man. 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 Okay. All right, bro. Can we get our food? Can we get our food, bro? I mean, right. I'm not paid I, I mean, like, we're not gonna make food unless you guys actually have money. All right, sir. What is that? What do you mean? Hold on, hold on. I thought that was a game. Okay. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. I thought that was a game. Sir, 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 sir. Why did you not have to pay? Why did you not have to pay before you? Why did he not have to pay? Sir. Can you explain to us why you didn't have to pay before you got your meal? No, nah, bro, dead ass. Are you, ass. Are you no, bro? Are you being no, serious right now? Are you serious? Dead ass, right? Are you being serious? Show me. I just got a. No. I got some shit. No, what are you talking about? Bro, can we get our food? Bro, can we get our food? You, 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 you seen us coming here? Have you seen me? Come on, bro. They, they do this. 